I'm Terence John. I'm an artist. I was born that way. As an artist, I feel I truly am a multidisciplinary artist. It's equally natural for me to sit down and create a painting as it is to make an installation or a sculpture or even write a poem that I sing later if it turns into a song or music. I'm able to express myself on many different layers and levels and that gives me great satisfaction because I have a lot of different media that I can explore and uh, to express my conceptual point of view. I often create all my artwork out of local materials, objects, and products that are indigenous to the place that I'm working. In that sense, you could say much of my work is site-specific, but on a deeper level, it's actually culture-specific. A vital part of my method is to include and infuse, layer by layer, these essential cornerstones of local culture into art. What I uncover becomes the art. Culture glue is the essential element I'm always searching for when in a new place. Investigating local customs and beliefs, observing through an intense process to arrive at a culture-specific discovery. Those unique bits within a community or country or city that I play with and reflect, projecting them back as a vital layer within the overall context of my work. It's all about you. This idea that uh, one word, one phrase can show up in a painting or be the first word in a poem which can develop into a song it keeps recurring. What's been growing in my practice lately uh, in the last year and a half has been uh, taking these words that I wrote originally as poems and I started to perform them as a spoken word vocal performance. They're actually taking on a musical sensibility and, uh, and becoming songs. So. I've been very lucky to work world-class musicians and producers in Los Angeles and Mexico City. Very honored and fortunate to be able to do that and find my singing voice and a natural voice, I think, that's been with me all along. This particular project that I'm working on, Never Give Up, it's really a poetic conceptual art piece. It's an interactive, site-specific, multimedia intervention, a touring show featuring painting, sculpture, installation, video, live performance, and original music. What started as a poem has grown into a song that has grown into a movement that potentially and hopefully brings people and communities together via an art and music experience, celebrating and reflecting each distinct culture through an uplifting universal message. No, please, do not despair. These challenges I think following these instincts and just listening to that voice and, and literally following it is what my artistic practice is about. I don't know where it's gonna take me, but I surrender to it. And it might mean that I'm sitting alone in a room for months quiet, working on paintings and photography and sculpture, or it might mean I'm in front of a large group of people singing my songs, performing my words live, which is a very different experience, but that range seems polar opposite, but it feels exciting and natural. I just feel blessed to be able to be an artist and have this type of life 
It's very nomadic and certainly unstable, but uh, I wouldn't have it any other way.